Okay, so according to the CDC in the year 2017 to 2018, approximately 42.4% of Americans suffered from obesity. While obesity can be caused by certain medical conditions, most of the time it is simply caused by poor dietary choices. Obesity can lead to additional medical conditions such as type 2 diabetes, uh, premature heart disease, heart attack, and stroke. And on the other hand, according to the American Academy of Adolescent Psychiatry in the United States, as many as 10 in 100 young women suffer from an eating disorder. And in addition to that, according to the Medical News Today article, What are the Symptoms of a Vitamin D Deficiency, states that in 2020, 50% of the worldwide population had insufficient vitamin D levels. I believe that if all students were required to take a nutrition class in high school, um, then they would be more aware of the science of food and nutrition and um, issues such as obesity and eating disorders and vitamin deficiencies would decrease. In order to implement this, we need to sign a petition to make nutrition classes required in schools nationwide. Most high school and college students do not have good diets to begin with. And this does not necessarily mean only that their diets could cause weight gain or weight loss, but that they can also result in vitamin deficiencies. Um, so my experience, I am a pre-health student. I am also an athlete. I've done martial arts, dance, weightlifting, as you can see from my pictures here. Um, I suffered from disordered eating while I was in high school for about four years. And I also have multiple vitamin deficiencies. And so because of this, I've done extensive research on vitamin deficiencies, as well as um, nutrition and how to eat intuitively. So today I will discuss issues that are caused by lack of information and education on nutrition and different diets, how this can be solved with something as simple as a nutrition class and the best way to implement these nutrition classes. Okay, so obesity and eating disorders exist due to a lack of education on food intake, calories, and misinformation on diet culture. Obesity is extremely common in the U.S. population, and while it can be caused by certain medical conditions, like I said, most of the time it is caused by simply a poor diet. Um, obesity can result in additional medical issues such as type 2 diabetes, premature heart disease, and stroke. And as I mentioned before, it is known that college students that move away from their families and into their dorms do not have ideal diets. And so there is even a saying known as the freshman 15, which um, suggests that freshmen in college gain 15 pounds due to their unhealthy diets their first year. Eating disorders are also becoming more prevalent in today's youth. According to the American Academy of Adolescent Psychiatry, disordered eating related to stress, poor nutritional habits, and food fads are relatively common problems for today's youth. Most of what we hear about diet culture is also actually incorrect. For example, don't eat past 8, 8, 8 p.m. or you'll gain weight is completely false. The U.S. Department of Agriculture's Weight Control Information Network website states that it doesn't matter what time of day you eat, it is what and how much you eat and how much physical activity you do during the whole day that determines whether you gain, lose, or maintain your weight. The amount of calories you need to gain or lose weight is going to be different from everybody else because it's based on your height, current weight, and activity levels. Detox teas um, and remedies and quick 30-day weight loss plans are also fads used to like take your money without giving you real results. In fact, according to the article, Does Detox Tea Help With Weight Loss by Lisa Esposito from Your Health US, detox products are classified as dietary supplements. This means that their ingredients are not regulated by the Food and Drug Administration. Some detox teas actually include powerful over-the-counter laxatives, uh, which can have a number of harmful side effects. And these are just a few things that are prevalent in the social media diet culture. Eating disorders such as anorexia and bulimia can very well stem from diet culture that's presented on social media. According to the NIH, over the past 20 years, several articles have proposed a link between the thin female body beauty ideal 
and the muscular male body ideal portrayed in the media with a range of psychological symptomatology, including body dissatisfaction and eating disorders. I personally fell victim to this when I was 14. I had decided that I wanted to model. However, as a young martial artist, I was by no means over no means overweight, but I carried more muscle than the average girls and guys my age, and this was considered unattractive. And therefore, this sucked me into a four-year battle with an eating disorder while I struggled to learn the truth about nutrition and repair my relationship with food. Certain vitamins like vitamin D, B12, and iron are absolutely essential for the body and are not found in all food products. Deficiencies in these vitamins can have long-term consequences if they're not treated. Um, certain deficiencies can actually lead to additional medical conditions. For example, um, vitamin B12 and iron deficiencies lead to a condition called anemia, where you have a decreased number of red blood cells. Most of the time, these deficiencies also go undiagnosed because their symptoms are so ambiguous. For example, as you can see here, one um, symptom that is common among three of these, all three of these is actually depression. And in fact, a paper published in the Annals of General Psychiatry in June 2020, vitamin D deficiency mediates the relationship between dietary patterns and depression, a case control study by Feruze Razi et al., concluded that vitamin D deficiency actually mediates the relationship between unhealthy dietary patterns and depression. And so fast food is extremely lacking in um, essential vitamins and minerals. And diets that cut out certain food groups like the vegan diets can have unforeseen consequences if you're not properly educated before starting them. Most college and high school students' diets consist of fast food, which is lacking in essential vitamins such as vitamin B12, iron, and vitamin D3. The vegan diet, while extremely healthy, is lacking in meat and dairy products, which are actually the main sources of vitamins and minerals such as vitamin D3, vitamin B12, and iron. These vitamins are essential to the body, and while there are supplements and fortified vegan products available, unless you know that these are vitamins that you're going to need to supplement, you're not going to, going to be looking for them. And so according to multiple sources, including WebMD, Harvard Health, and the NIH, one thing that puts a person at risk for all three of these deficiencies is being on a vegetarian or vegan diet due to the fact that these vitamins are naturally available only in meat and dairy products. All these issues could be easily addressed if people in general had a much better understanding of what they are eating and why they are eating it. The best way to solve these issues is to make nutrition classes mandatory in high school. By implementing a nutrition class in high school, that means that all students would have to take it before they graduate. This could prevent more teens from developing an unhealthy lifestyle once they leave home. This would also reduce the percentage of obesity that is not induced due to certain medical conditions. Students who know more about their basic caloric needs per day and how to eat intuitively are less likely to gain or lose weight very quickly. It could also help reduce eating disorders by knowing how many calories you need a day based on height, build, and activity level instead of blindly guessing because you're so afraid to gain weight. It will also help less teens fall into the traps they see online promoting detox and weight loss. In addition to that, it would also help reduce the amount of people who suffer unknowingly from vitamin deficiencies. Um, and a nutrition class would be able to educate students on the necessary vitamins and minerals available in what foods and where to find alternatives for them. A nutrition class is a reasonable solution to large issues that the population suffers from every day. Imag so imagine this, more people are now aware as they go into college of what a healthy lifestyle looks like and conditions like type two diabetes and heart attack are reduced in people who are in their 30s and 40s. Less teens and young adults suffer from eating disorders and instead people have a healthy relationship with food and understand and respect their bodies. Those who are not, who are not suffering from obesity or malnutrition due to a medical condition understand what they can do to remedy it, and those who are understand that, is not, that it is not a result due to their lifestyle. So for this to become a reality, we must take steps to get there. 
I believe that in order to make teens and young adults more aware of what they should be consuming and why, nutrition classes should be mandatory for every high school student. Today I talked about why nutrition classes are needed, such as the prevalence of obesity, obesity-related diseases, eating disorders, and vitamin deficiencies. Um, how a nutrition class could help resolve some of these issues and what a future would look like if we implemented these nutrition classes. In order to make this a reality, one step that we can take is to sign this petition here that would make food growing, cooking, and nutrition at the core of school curriculum. With nutrition being something that students are now educated on, there would be a lot less prevalence of obesity and obesity-related diseases. While there will always be those who choose to eat unhealthily or do not necessarily have the money to afford a healthy lifestyle, despite taking nutrition classes, they will still be educated on it. And hopefully when life improves for them, they will be able to implement what they've learned into their lifestyle.